Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Oh, Durst the worst. Durst is the worst. Durst 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 the worst. If you could end the brown shirt before Hitler assumed his office, you would. Before the beer hall put, before the knights of long knives and broken glass, before invasions of Poland and France, the blitzkrieg and the rocket attack, before D-Day Dresden arms race, before 60 million dead, before the Thunder Commando, Dr. Mengele, Zykon V, and Furnaces yawning hungrily as Moloch, you would! Joseph Goebbels' right to freedom of speech would not give you a single moment's pause. Yet we stand on a bloodier map, a turtle's back scrubbed clean and clean again, turned to a dock for crowded cargo ships, choking with black lives. The only difference between there and here is America did it bigger, and America was never stopped. Today, we are fighting the American genocides, chanting Black Snake Killer and Black Lives Matter. And Wisconsin is the worst of all. Chief Flynn rounds up people at Himmler-esque rates, ships them to Waupon, Columbia, Green Bay, to scattered camps across the state with the highest concentration of racialized and tortured bodies in the world. These prisons and the pipelines were here before the Trump card was laid. It is not that we should be afraid of this man who might usher in a right. It is that he has inherited one. Already, with genocides already in play, never abated, reconciled, or acknowledged, but here, steadily still scouring and churning through black and brown and red flesh. Milo Yiannopoulos wears an iron cross and throws up swastikas. His critics get doxxed and threatened with rape and death. His boss will be the chief strategist for the new president of America. If Milo has freedom of speech, so did Goebbels and every soldier of the Schutzstaffel who our grandparents had to kill or die trying. Yeah. We have a chance to end the brown shirt before World War II starts before our grilled grandchildren have to chase these men into a bunker where they will die by their own hand after running out of other lives to end. The only difference between then and now is that we are too weak and spineless to do what we say we would. Hi, bitch!